Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to keep building on our little auto battler game here by adding a knockback script. So right now we have our player kind of moving around and we're able to move the enemies, our health bar is working, it's all looking good. Um, but I want a bit more interaction when our spinning weapons hit our enemies. I want them to kind of get knocked back a little bit. And especially when we get more and more enemies on the screen, it's going to get a little bit crowded. And we want to be able to uh, uh, clear some space for our player to navigate around. So it is a pretty simple script and we're just going to be working within our enemy controller script today. So let's get started. Excellent. So I'm going to open up my enemy controller here, script here, and we're going to start by adding a couple of new variables. So I'm going to put it in my variable section here, and um, we're going to make the one, this first one a, a, a public float, and we're going to call it knockback duration. Okay. And I'm just going to set it equal to uh, 0.5 frames here. So knockback duration is going to be uh, the amount of time our enemy is going to be knocked back for. So if you want them to, to go back further, um, then you could set it to a higher amount. I'm going to set it to about half a second. So when they get hit by our object, they're going to get knocked back for about half a second there. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to make another public uh, float. I mean, actually, this one could be private if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Private float. And we're going to call this knock back counter. This is going to be kind of like our countdown um, that's going to count down as our enemy gets knocked back. Okay. So now we're going to go down into our, um, our public void here where our enemy takes damage. Okay. So we have a, uh, our enemy health script here that we did earlier. And uh, what we're going to do here is, let's get, just going to go into here, let's put a little bit of space in here. And what's going to happen is when we take damage, so when our enemy gets hit, that's when we want to start down our counter. So we're going to set our knockback counter equal to our knockback duration. So when our enemy gets hit and it takes damage, our counter is going to be set to this 0.5F half a second, okay? So that's any time our enemy takes damage, the knockback counter is going to be set to half a second. And like I said, you can adjust that variable to whatever number you want for however you want them to be knocked back for. And we're gonna do a little bit of a cheat here in order to kind of get our enemy to get knocked back. You could use the rigid body, you could add some force through an impulse or something along those lines if you wanted to. But we're gonna do a really simple method here by uh, turning our enemy speed into a negative that's gonna cause it to move in a negative speed away from our player, right? So right now we have our enemy chasing our player with this command here. Um, and But if we put this to a negative speed, the enemy, instead of going towards the player, they're gonna move away from the player. So a really easy way to do our knockback, okay? So, whoops, took the, there we go. So we're gonna do an if statement here. And we're gonna say if our knockback counter is greater than zero, and by default, it's gonna be set to zero, but it goes to a greater number whenever we take damage here. So if our knockback counter is greater than zero, uh, what am I doing here? Uh, yep, that's what I'm doing. Now let's uh, create the code here. So when our knockback counter becomes greater than zero, I'm gonna take my knockback, knockback counter and we're gonna minus equals time dot delta time. So now we're gonna start minusing and sending it back to zero uh, with that time dot delta time. And then I'm gonna say if and then we'll say if my enemy speed is greater than zero, so that means they're, they are currently moving. So if our enemy speed is greater than zero, we're gonna take my enemy speed, and we're gonna say equal minus enemy speed, and uh, let's have them move away at a two times speed. So they're gonna move away at us at a double their normal speed. So it's gonna look like they're gonna go back a little bit quicker, but really all we're doing is making them walk in the opposite direction. So it's gonna appear like they're getting knocked back, but they're really just moving away from us at twice their normal speed. So if uh, the knockback counter comes greater than zero because they are taking damage, and that's what happens here, uh, we're going to take our enemy speed and make it equal to our negative enemy speed times two, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to have to do another if statement here. And if our knockback counter is less than or equal to zero. So that's if our counter is uh, um, 
less than zero. So once that uh, counter gets back down to zero after getting knocked back, we got to put our enemy back to their normal speed. So we're going to take our enemy speed and we're going to make it equal to, and we're going to use a math function here just to ensure that it's going to be a positive value. And for that, we're going to say math function, and we're going to say take the absolute value. Okay, so absolute value will take any value and change it to a positive, even if it is a negative. And we're going to take the absolute value of our enemy speed, and we're going to times it by 0.5f. Okay, the reason why it's 0.5 is because we double the speed here, and this is going to half the speed, which is going to put it back to its original speed. So if you wanted them to uh, go at a higher rate here at a higher knockback speed, you're going to want to make sure you adjust this value as well. Okay, so everything should be working there, and let's go test it out in our game. All right, let's script compile. It's going to load up here. I got my enemies spawning from two locations now. And look, they're kind of moving back when they get hit now. And it makes the illusion like they're getting knocked back, but they're really just moving away from the player at twice their speed. Perfect. So our knockback strip is looking good. And that's another neat little functionality we've added to our game. Thanks, everybody. We will see you all later.